Hi everybody, this is Aisa. I'm making this video to share a couple of projects I worked on. Um, this is the third time I shot this video, but I noticed when I show the picture frame, you can see me in the plastic. So this is why I'm now turning it to the side. Um, it ha I live in Pennsylvania. I'm in the East Coast, and it's been snowing so bad. We've gotten yesterday alone. I think we got 15 inches, and today it's been snowing all day. So. The good thing is I'm, it's, I'm keeping busy scrapping. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was on Facebook, and I um, saw her name is Mary, and she's from Adana Creations on YouTube, and she put a posting that if anyone went to exchange a homemade item, so I signed up and I agreed to exchange homemade items for her. So this is the picture frame I made for her. It's actually a uh, picture from I got at Michael's. I painted it with Tim Holtz um, peel paint. I used um, Graphic 45 Once Upon a Springtime, some Michael's um, pearls, some Prima Bling. The charm in the corner I got from I got like um, a mixture of charms I ordered online. And then here in the flowers I actually got these. These are Prima. And I got these on Etsy. Her name is Janet Lay on YouTube and her Etsy store. I'll put a link on the bottom. And they're beautiful. And just some more Prima Bling and Prima Flowers. So I hope she likes this. I actually made another six of these for my family members the earlier part of this month. And what I'm going to do is just put pictures at the end of this video. I'll do a little slideshow. Um, I also made, I'm trying to keep myself out of the picture, I also made the boxes that everyone's getting from Michael's. I used, again, Graphic 45, the Renaissance Fair paper, some bling, Prima flowers, I put a bread, a little um, ticket from the collection, a book plate, then I wrapped the ribbon, I painted it black, and this I just put a charm again. Now I'm debating whether I should put legs on it or not. I have it on in the inside. I put another ticket from the collection. This is a metal charm, this is a coin charm. And then on the bottom, I use again another piece from the collection. And I, I thought it came out pretty good for my first box. Now, what I keep in it, it's pretty cool. I don't think I'm not sure if I showed this before, but I made these with shrinker dinks. I don't know if anyone's used these before. I had it backwards, but they come out so cool. You stamp it. And then I colored it in with alcohol ink, and I use alcohol markers. And then it shrinks. I think it's the cutest thing to use for different projects. And I also, I tried this color. The reason why there's some pieces missing is because it does break, so it is fragile. You have to be careful with it. Um, but here's some more. Here's the I'm key. sorry, my phone and then was also, I've been working on my December daily. I didn't realize that it was going to take so much work. Um, it's taking me forever. I think I'm up to December 14th. So in the meantime, I work with different projects. And what I enjoyed about my December daily is just writing down what I do every day. So I started a journal for 2011. So I made this out of the dollar journals you get at Michael's. And this is the back. Actually, I think I paid 30 cents. It was one of those on clearance. So I just covered it with Tim Holtz paper. Put some bling. Um, Kane Company flowers, and these are thicker as the material ones. I just colored them. Then I keep a clip because I don't like it for it to, to open too much, so this keeps it closed. But this is my little journal. But I enjoy um, I'm enjoy journaling. Go figure. When I was started scrapping, I was fighting the journaling, and I guess that's what it's really all about. But um, so this is my journal book, and like I said, I'll put some pictures at the end of this video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.